Hello again world, Justin Tucker, again. Um, for all of you who have made it this far listening to my voice, I applaud you. Um, you're a trooper. Sorry if it's, uh, sorry if this has been annoying or spoon-fed or grueling. It's, uh, it's a Drupal site after all. So, what, what can I say? <laughs> Um, in this video, I am going to continue the idea of the event list. I can already see the question before it happens. Uh, what about making these events only show events in the future? So the idea is, you know, on June 1st, these won't show in the list anymore. How do we do that? Which is kind of what a calendar does, you know. Sure, you can go back on the calendar and see what items were in the past, but really the purpose of the calendar is to, you know, click forward on the months to see what's coming up. So we'll go ahead and make this view dynamic and aware through this filter here that we only want to show events that belong to this registration event who has a start date on it or a, yeah, a start date on it that is uh, equal to or greater than today is kind of what we're looking at doing. So the way we get started with that is you click add to the filter criteria and you ask for the the field you want to filter by. In this case it is date. And I'm thinking should I use this one or should I use this one? I'm gonna try that more generic one. We have some uh, options here we need to address. This filter granularity comes into play um, on the next screens depending on whether you intend on exposing this or not. Mm, I think we can kind of leave all this alone. It's asking us on this node what date fields are we talking about. We could say post date but that's not accurate. We want to actually do the start date of the field that I named date. Uh, yeah that's exactly what we want. We'll click add and continue. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, it used to just be two fields here, start date and end date, and now there's this new, I guess, default date. I'm not really sure, but we'll get it dialed in. Uh, so we want to say is greater than or equal to uh, start date of today, or uh, now, excuse me, not today. So you can see you can use this syntax now or plus one day just kind of spell it out so now it's pretty good and let's see if this gets us there okay and it, it still brings these two in which uh, is in theory correct so the way to test this let me go ahead and save this the way to test this is to go into one of the keynote speaker or I'm sorry one of the events that you uh, added we'll go into the keynote speaker and we'll actually make it uh, less than today and so by doing this it should it should take it off of the list and it did not okay so let's go back in there and take a look okay so I'll probably have to deal with uh, okay so yeah, I see that that value didn't hold Okay, so that that worked correct because now we only have the orientation event which is in the future and the other ones in the past meaning it is not equal to or greater than today or now so that actually looks correct maybe I just engaged with the wrong field there okay and that worked so now let me go tell it to be not event list but upcoming event list we'll save that and I guess we'll go ahead and correct these two events 
to be the correct date of I think I was just making up June 1st as our as our start time of this event oh then we will change this to I don't know June 2nd go back to the event and we should have both back to our yes registration events or our conference in this case and we should have these two things in there and we do so that is a quick little way to turn a an event list into an upcoming event list just by engaging with this uh, filter criteria here and uh, adding adding the filter of date and configuring it to only show content that has a date that is greater than or equal to now. You could also just say is greater than now. So now would not be included for uh, whatever reason. So maybe it's if it's the day of and tickets, you know, will not be sold, maybe this option makes more sense. Uh if it was, you know, in some scenario like that, but for now I'll just leave it to uh or, or leave it at is greater than or equal to now. So I will leave that uh, quick tutorial off here. I uh, just wanted to, again, extend on the idea of the event, the calendar, the event list, and now we've kind of shown a way how you can make an upcoming event list. So if you guys like these videos, please subscribe. If you have any uh, thoughts, comments, or questions, please reach out. Uh, otherwise, I'll uh, see you on the next video.